guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe down below and if you're a return subscriber, thank you so much. So anyways, today's video is going to be how to make a box fishtail braid. So what you're going to need is, oh this is a Cinderella thing that you can do here, is a brush. So we're going to brush out the hair first. And this is a Tangle Teaser and it's sparkly and that's why I got it off of Amazon. So I'll try to link this down below if I can. So you're going to first, you're going to start out by parting the hair. Get as evenly as possible. One second. Just took a second to focus, so sorry about that. And you're going to start by sectioning it into two sections. So two. Then what you're going to do is you're going to start like a normal fishtail braid. So you're going to take a little piece on the side and cross it over. And then you're going to take a piece on this side and cross it over as well. Then, so you got an X in the middle. Can you see that? Yeah. Then you're going to do the same thing on the bottom. So you're going to take a small piece from the bottom after you do that one. And then you're going to do the same thing but on the bottom. Underneath the underneath layer and cross it. And you're going to repeat back on the top. So then you're going to do that all the way down the head. And you'll see what it looks like whenever it is done. So then you make a cross and then you're going to go back under. You take from the first side like you did earlier. And then you're going to do it again on the other side. Take this, go under, and then keep doing that all the way down the head, or down the hair, or whatever you want to call it. Cross, and cross, and do the same thing underneath. So take a piece, a small piece, not too big cross underneath here. I'm going to show you if you can see what I'm doing. Cross underneath. It may kind of look messy or naughty. And cross underneath the bottom. So you should have like kind of a fishtail braid going underneath to kind of see what it looks like. It's not obviously perfect. So then you're going to go back to whatever one you just did. Make sure you don't mess up on which ones you just did because sometimes that happens. So if you do, just keep with it, and then you're going to cross back over, and do the same thing underneath. So, we're going to take this piece over here, cross underneath, and cross underneath, and do this all the way until you get to the end. I'm just going to keep crossing, and crossing. Now do this repeat underneath, underneath underneath and then cross over top cross over top cross make an X then underneath take a piece cross underneath take a piece and cross it over and make sure there's an X underneath and as you can kind of see you can kind of see the box forming on the side it's not the best right now but here it looks better on that side. You can see the box forming on the side. And that's kind of how you can tell that you're doing it right if you were wondering. Underneath now, cross. And underneath, cross. Then back to the top, over cross. On top, cross. On top, cross. Mm -hmm. Then underneath, cross underneath and you're gonna make sure you wanna hold the hair so it doesn't move on you. I mean not that it should but you know. And then cross the fishtail braid, take a strand of hair and cross it over. And if you already know how to fishtail braid, this might be easier for you to do. So maybe practice a couple of fishtail braids but you don't have to, you can just try this one. And this is what the style you're going for. Cross underneath, cross underneath. And then back to the top and then you might need to use your brush again and kind of split it up if it gets kind of like that and then go underneath underneath so it looks pretty cool so far then back to the top over over oh yeah and this is a Cinderella thingamajig and then cross on the top over top over top, then underneath, under, cross, under, cross, and just repeat that and keep repeating it. 
over top. Sometimes if the hair's not long enough, you can just get a piece that's a little bit longer. And then cross over top. And then underneath, cross it. Oh, sorry if you can't see what I'm doing. Cross it underneath. Subscribe if you made it this far. You might as well. And then cross on top. On top. And then underneath cross it and then cross it again underneath like a fishtail you just do it like a fishtail pretty much on the top then on the bottom and just repeat it until you get it all the way down to the end and this is kind of how it turned out so far the box it looks better on this side than this side if you can see so sometimes that happens and then cross it over and then do the same thing under under over, over, we're just crossing it, and then we're just keeping going, under, under, and it kind of gives like a 3D look to the fishtail braid, as you can kind of see like how it kind of like puffs out kind of-ish, I'm not sure if I'm explaining this very good, but yeah, you guys get it, so over, over, under, under, and then we're going to move this up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Hopefully this is focusing. It's an autofocus. One second. It takes a second sometimes for autofocus to work. Then over. Then under. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Under. And then under. Then over. Then over. Then under. And under until you get to where you want to end it and you can add bobby pins like kind of pinned it if you want if you have like flyaways like if your hair is layered or something like that so that way aren't those or not you can just leave it if you kind of want them a little bit messier um yeah subscribe if you've made it this far into the video because that means you probably enjoyed this video and hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of my content that I have on this channel and post and I try to post daily, so help me by subscribing to this channel. It will really help out this channel if you subscribe. And go under. And then back to the top. Over. Over. And then under. And then under. And then you whenever you get to a stopping point. So this is kind of what the box fish still looks like on the side. And this side looks a lot nicer and neater and that's kind of more really how it's supposed to look so that just side sometimes that happens so hopefully you guys like how this looks and then it has a vegetable braid underneath so you could like do like a bun maybe with it or be creative add some flowers like in the back of the hair so then we're going to secure it with the hair tie real quick sorry about this you can even after you secure it with a hair tie or elastic, you could even curl it or make it like like at the end of what's left if you want to make it like kind of fancier. One second about this. I'm sorry. Subscribe if you like this video. Might as well subscribe, right? Right. If you made it this far, you might as well hit that red subscribe button down below. Okay. And I'll try to link this tangle teaser as well. And I like wet brushes better than this, for sure. This is okay. It will do the, get the job done. But I think the wet brushes will work better. So, and so, anyways, this is what it looks like. And that's a, kind of what a um, fishtail box braid is supposed to look like. Actually, it is what a fishtail box braid is supposed to look like. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Because it's like a 3D, like all angles kind of. Even though this one's a little bit more sloppied. But that's what it's supposed to look like. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys liked and liked and enjoyed this video. Make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe down below. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day. See ya. Don't forget to subscribe real quick. Anyway, see y'all. Have a great, beautiful, and wonderful day.